the politician is with you or you can and I said that is the hypocrisy that we should all run away from if you love somebody you should tell and if you are with somebody it should be telling all around you and so we are excited to celebrate him 59 years is a strong number not many people grow or live to see that number it's our prayer that he will live long he will live well and that he will live happy with such a great heart that he has we believe um that he will be the right okay i believe i believe because sometimes you can't tell from the construction of the faces of people where their hearts are and then if you are in the faith you should also love it men are supposed to be judged not by their religion but by their capacity and what they bring to the table and we believe that he has the right capacity to do the right things for this nation well on this day i just want us to pray for him um my good friend and brother reverend i pray to start the occasion wherever you are seated if you can stretch forth your hands where he is seated i want you from the depths of your heart to pray for him there are many intentions in the hearts of a man the bible says the counsel of god shall be established in the book of the psalms the psalm is said except the lord builds the house the builder builds but in vain and except the lord keeps watch over the city the watchman watches in vain there are things that are in it in his heart but we want to pray that God from his high heavens will show him kindness. Give him the strength, the steel, the metal, the spine to be able to live through every vision, every aspiration, every intent of his heart. That God will galvanize support all around him. That the right men, the right women, the right people will gather around him. And he will be moved forward by the hand of God and the assistance of the angelic host. If you can pray that prayer for him, I'll be excited. Just pray. It might be quiet, it might be solemn, it might be however you pray. Um, if it's a Muslim prayer, pray it. If it's a Christian prayer, pray it. If it is a traditional worshipers prayer, pray it. But whatever the prayer is, lift up your voice. I believe that there is a God in the heavens who inclines his ears and his heart to the cries of his people. So if we will pray, there will be a God to answer. The God of the saints will only show up when the, the prayer of the saints go up. And so let's lift up prayer that God will show up, and God will be kind, that God will favor him. Lift up your voice and pray the prayer. Let's pray. Let's pray. And our eternal King, Father and Master, we thank you. We thank you for the life of your son. Adding a year to his years, oh God, we don't take it for granted at all. We know that it is of your mercies that he is not consumed. But today we pray coming to you and saying thank you. Not unto us. Not unto us. But unto you be all the glory. It's been you all through and through. If we see his life and we chronicle his life, we can see your fingerprints all around him. And because of that, we can look back and say you are the one who did it. You brought him this far. And Father, we commend him to you and the works of your grace. Father, even as he journeys on, you give him the wisdom, the understanding, the health, everything, the wherewithal to be able to carry out the intents of his heart. Spirit divine, we pray that no weapon formed or fashioned against him shall prosper. And any tongue that will rise against him is already condemned in judgment. Let him, O oh God, experience what you have predestined in eternity and before time for him. We take a comprehensive insurance for you in the blood, sir. The blood that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. We say, may the blood speak for you. May the blood be the eternal stain on your life. And when they come up against you in the form of a flood, the spirit of our God will lift up a standard against them. The boy Jesus grew and he had favor with God and favor with men. Therefore, we pray that may God not only bring you favor with him who sits on the thrones above, but may God give you favor with men favor with people who are even without your religious um, proclivities be favor with people who are not from the same ethnicity with you favor with people who don't even share in the same political ideologies with you favor with people favor with people favor with people favor with people from the north the south the east and the west we pray for great favor to accompany everything that you do we seek divine assistance 
We pray above all that there will be the angelic host encircling or encamping round about you. That every time there will be the great deliverance that God will bring to you. May your expectations not be cut off. What you desire. May your expectations never be cut off. May God watch over every word over your life and bring it to pass. And we pray that everybody that is connected to you, your wife, your family, everybody will come under that same canopy of grace. That God will shower on you the blessings from on high, the favor on earth, and the movement that you require to be able to fulfill destiny. Take territory, sir, and fulfill destiny and be backed by the Spirit of our God in the name of the one who rules, reigns, and has regency. Christ Jesus, our Lord, we've prayed. Amen. Um, I'm overwhelmed with your presence and your show of love. Um, I'm a year older, hopefully a year wiser. <laughs> I'm very, very, very pleased um, that you've responded to my invitation. Particularly pleased to welcome my friends, my brothers and sisters and mothers and fathers from Weja the Pasori. Um, you are a very, very special um, pe set of people to, to me. Uh, this is your home, as you know. When I first moved into this house, the house warming, as they call it, uh, was done with you. Uh, and we have continued to, to do things together, either at Weja or here in Cantonments. And as, as um, most people will not know, but I am the patron of the Lepers Aid Ghana. This is how come I have a lot of interest in what happens to the lepers in, in our society and why it's very, very important that when we deal with cured lepers, we should not be afraid of them. We should not be afraid to touch them. We should not be afraid to hug them. Uh, and, and I think that uh, they, they, they're just really, when you visit them, very talented by the way you have musicians you have artists and so on amongst them and so i thought that today this special day that god has given me uh, another year the best way to really thank god the almighty is to really host our friends from Weja, the Pasorium. Uh, and we have some lunch together uh, and so I'm very very happy I want to thank you I want to thank God I want to thank our eminent clergy here. Uh, we just had two very powerful prayers that have opened this uh, um, particular occasion for us and I'm very very confident with these two men of God who have really opened this that we, the Spirit of God will be present here and bless everything that we are doing. God bless you. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much, His Excellency. A short and brief message. We would also like to acknowledge the Public Works and Housing, the Foreign Affairs Minister, Dr. Nyamiche, and His Excellency Isaac Ose, to serve, to join the Vice President to serve his special guest. Yes.
departure. Let's make way for the lepers to join the queue so they could grab something to eat. With disability, I don't. Let's go back. Let's go back. I have been corrected by social workers, persons of disability. We are also being joined by the Greater Accra Regional Minister with his MMDCs, Honorable Henry. It's all important thing. The mayor of the city and the MMDC is led by the regional minister. Are all here to thank you for your presence. We are most, most grateful. I can see you. Today you are a chef. That's right. The original minister today is not demolition. It's food. It's dishing out food to the need, not quoting any scripture. It's dishing out food. The foreign minister is not stating Ghana's diplomatic position. And the works and housing minister is not constructing any drains to deal with flats. He's dishing out food. No Steve Doring business. Dishing out food. I can see Dr. Wissu and Honorable Akosi Koledo MP for Mesia North is also here. He would also join the newest and latest chefs in town to dish out food. We're grateful. I can see Honorable Augustine play. Like a smiler. My own boy lion. Also here with the MMDC for the Let me bless you all for all that you are continuous doing for people. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you very much. You are most grateful. The famous Eugene the Kansan is also here. destination inshallah. So the Vice President once again I repeat my MMDCs and I assure you that we are sojourning with you to the final destination and by the grace of God we shall get to the land of Canaan. I won't say much but I pray that whatever projects or the project ahead of us will be successful. Those here and those who are not here, we pray 
that the good Lord will begin to turn the hearts and minds of people in this country to join in this project. And by the grace of God, today is seven. I count and I count and I count and I count that inshallah, one of the seven that will come in 2025, by the grace of God, we will be at the Independence Square, inshallah. Oh, you didn't hear me, somebody. I said by the 7th January 2025, Inshallah, His Excellency, not the Vice President, incoming President of the Republic of Ghana, will be at the Independence Square. To this end, I say thank you all, and we wish the Vice President the strength that he needs in these difficult times to be able to go about his duties. His Excellency, I thank you very much. God bless you. But we have, uh, on behalf of the MNDC, Thank you very much, Mr. Vice President. Happy birthday. Shall we sing happy birthday for him? Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Hip, hip, hip. Hip, 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 hip. Hip, 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 hip. Ah, and we were with us this morning, this afternoon. I have known the Vice President for some time. First, as a young man, watching him from afar, at the time that he was a technocrat, serving the country at the Bank of Ghana. And later, my boss, Daniel Kufuado, nominated him to be his running mate and partner in his political journey. And since he joined Daniel Kufuado, I have had the opportunity to work closely with the vice president, first as a running mate to Daniel Kufuado, and later as vice president. The Vice President since then has taken me not as his subordinate but as his younger brother. I have received wise counsel from him. In fact, he is one of the, one of the people who encouraged me to run again for Bantima. I remember some time ago when we were going to a meeting at the President's office and we were in the elevator. And he said, that, so this time, the Bantama, you have to go. That single voice contributed a lot to, for me to make that decision to contest again. Now, as you know, I have served in El Kufuado for all my political um, journey and all my adult life. There are three or four key core values in El Kufuado that I think is commendable and is remarkable. He is compassionate, he is diligent, he is honest, and he is hardworking. And throughout the period that I work with the Vice President, I see these same core values in the Vice President. And I believe, given my little experience in politics and governance, this is what we need in the leader. So on this special occasion, I want, I'm praying that the Lord continue to give, grant the Vice President mercy, grace, and favor so that all his heart desires to serve this country will come true. Thank you very much and God bless you all.
Excellency the Vice President and the members of the Laposorium are currently taking out the cutting of the cake. Happy birthday. Hip, hip, hip. Hip, hip, hip. Hip, hip, hip. DJ. Thank you, thank you very much. Please, drivers. 